Okay. Hi, good morning. It's Monday, President's Day. And I'm honestly like all confused at this point because I've been like a week or so behind at least with posting the vlogs. So what is currently up right now and what people have been commenting on feels like forever ago and I don't even remember. I didn't vlog the last few days in a row and I have yet to go through the footage or edit the vlog before this one. So I don't even remember what's the last thing I showed you or like what things I've done off camera since the last vlog ended, if that makes sense. Like, I don't really know where we're at. But basically, I, I'm living here full time in the new apartment, but I still have some stuff back at the old place. It's still a freaking mess. I need to clean it. I have stuff like hung on the walls still I need to take down. And I saw my big furniture pieces. So we're gonna deal with all of that later in the vlog, but Today, I have an appointment to go get my car inspected because I got a notice in the mail that there's a safety recall. Oh, I should bring that flutter with me, just in case. The steering racks, they might have been assembled incorrectly, possibly resulting in tire damage, increasing the risk of a crash or injury. My car seems to be driving fine, but I'd rather be safe than sorry, obviously. So I'm bringing that in this morning and I'm about to pack a bag with me so I can bring my laptop with me so I can do a little editing because I have no idea how long I'm gonna be there for. They said it could be like only 30 minutes, it could be an hour, or it just kind of depends. So I don't know, whatever. But I'm using my new bag from Timu for the first time which I'm really excited about. It has padding in it. So I'm gonna bring my laptop and the charger. That way I don't have to just sit there and aimlessly scroll through my phone. I can actually be productive. I love this bag though. It has so many different compartments and the straps are like nice and padded and comfortable. So I'm excited to use it today, but the best part about it is it's super affordable too. Like I said, it's from Timu and they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. So thank you so much to them. I recently bought some stuff from their website and they also gifted me a bunch of stuff for the new apartment. I know I had originally did an unboxing in like the first moving vlog, I think, but I want to show you all the stuff that I got from them that I have been using like on a daily basis. And I'm really blown away because the quality of this stuff is so good and the prices are incredible. Timu has site-wide sales of up to 90% off. They also have free shipping and free returns up to 90 days and they have a price protection policy. So if you order something and then within 30 days, the price of that item drops, you can request a partial refund, which I think is awesome, especially because I swear, like I'll look at an item on that site and then a couple days later, the, like the prices are just constantly dropping. So yeah, obviously I got this backpack from there and I'll put the prices of all of these things on the screen so you can get an idea of like how affordable everything is. But let me show you some of the other stuff I got. This is a little bit random, but I got this propagation setup, which is so freaking cute. And I love my house plants. So I'm propagating them in there so that I can get even more plants. And you can see that one has some roots. I also got a set of these plastic organizer bins. It came in a set of five for like around $5. These are amazing. I've been using these in the kitchen and also in the bathroom. I have one back there and in here. They are so good for organizing drawers. I also got these pillow slides on there. Don't mind my uh, unpedicured toes, but <laughs> these are so comfortable. I have been living in them, especially if I'm just like running out really quick to take Benny for a walk or something. Don't mind how stained this is. I noticed that last night it got stained, I guess, from my pajamas, but I also got these satin pillowcases from Timu. I've been sleeping on this every night. It's been a lot more gentle on my face and also on my hair, especially now that I colored it and bleached it recently. I also got this satin robe from Timu, which is so cute. I've been wearing this every night as well. Oh, another thing that I got from there, I need to clean this, but this is perfect. It goes to show how well it works. These little hair catchers, 
layers to put over the drain in the shower. I also got this drawer organizer that I've been using to organize my workout sets. So yeah, there's a lot of really good finds on there. So I will have a link in the description. Make sure you download the Timu app through that link and search my code. I will put it on the screen here and also down in the description to get a $100 coupon bundle for free. Thank you so much Timu for sponsoring a portion of today's vlog, but I need to leave to head to my appointment soon. And after I'm done with that, I'm gonna run to Target. I have a few things I need to get from there. And then I think I'm just gonna come back home I just have some stuff that I kind of want to do around the apartment. Like I have a lot of laundry that I need to do. So that is my plan for today. But I'll see you when I get back home. I can't even tell you how relieved I am to finally be home. They told me on the phone when I booked the appointment, I asked, and they told me the same thing when I got there and gave them the keys. I asked again. They said the same thing both times. Oh, it should only be like 45 minutes, maybe an hour tops. Not too long. I was there for almost two and a half hours. Luckily, everything is all good. They said that my car didn't have any issue and they took pictures and sent everything out to like Honda corporate and whatever they had to do. But, um, you know, I guess it's a good thing because they said that the part that they would have needed to replace anyway has been on back order. If there was an issue, I would have had to wait a long time for them to get the part in anyway. And then I would have been a little worried, like, well, am I gonna have issues? So it's all good. I'd rather, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's over with now. But I was like, oh my God, thank God I brought my laptop with me because I was able to get a lot of work done. And then I went to Target and I got a couple grocery things, like just some random things. I don't quite need to go like full on grocery shopping just yet, but there was like a couple little things I wanted to restock. I got a margarita pizza just randomly, but I got some chicken and I also needed more turkey bacon and eggs. So those were the groceries that I got. And then, oh, actually, one more thing. I got some vodka pasta sauce. That was also kind of a random last minute grab. And speaking of random last minute grabs, these cups, so cute. They were in the front by the little bullseye, like dollar section. They were a dollar each. And they're just plastic, but I love the design and the color. I just thought they were so beautiful. And technically this is like, part of their Easter stuff, but I feel like this is cute year round. So, you know, I love a little decorative cup for iced coffee or a cocktail. I also got this colored light bulb. I showed you guys a couple vlogs ago. I got this light from Amazon, like an alarm clock light for my bedroom. And that has a whole bunch of different colors and settings. And at night, I've been turning on either like the red or pink light and it just sets such a cozy vibe in the bedroom. And I have this lamp out in the living area next to my dining table. And it's just like, cause it's clear glass. I'll show you in a second. It's very harsh. And I was thinking it would be nice to get a colored light bulb so I can do like the red or pink light out here at night when I'm kind of like winding down. And this is cool because it's a smart bulb, so I can connect it to my, I'll link this one, it's G, so it should be good. I'm gonna set that up in a minute and test it out. I also needed some more razors and I needed more daytime moisturizer with SPF in it. So I just got the Up and Up brand. This is supposed to be comparable to the CeraVe AM facial Moisturizing lotion. I don't know. It has SPF 30 in it. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also got two of these large picture frames because I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on the wall above the couch because in my old apartment, I had these three frames above the couch and it was like a fully DIY thing. Like I got prints from Etsy, printed them out, just got poster board frames, but I don't think I want to do that same artwork in here, or maybe I will. Maybe I'll reuse the prints, but I don't love the frames because they were super, super cheap, like thin, 
shiny black and I don't know it just like looks kind of cheap and I feel like in the living room area there's gonna be a lot of black and I don't think I want to do black frames again or who knows maybe I'll just do one horizontally on the wall because I feel like the wall here isn't as big like the, and the ceilings aren't as high so I don't think I need such big stuff to fill it like I did in the old place these particular frames I feel like sell out really fast in store they only had four left today so I was like you know what while they're here and in stock let me just grab them and I'll hold on to them and if I end up using them great if I don't I can always return them okay so we have a problem the bulb does not fit in this light. I think they make the colorful bulbs in like normal shaped light bulbs as well. So I'll have to look online. But yeah, you see how this lamp is just clear glass? When you turn it on, there's no shade or anything to like diffuse it. So it's very intense. But I love the look of the lamp. But what I can do is I can screw it into this lamp, I have to download an app and sync it. Okay, I got it all set up on the app. Turns the light on, and then I can change the color. Yes, let me turn these lights off. Obviously it's, they're still, you know, daylight, but. Oh, I just love that, it's so vibey. And I did, as it was like, doing its setup thing I looked on Amazon and I did find a bulb that is like a regular shape that I think should fit in that other lamp and it's like the same price as that one I guess I'll just order that and hopefully that one will fit and then it'll be kind of nice I can have both of them with the same colors and you can sync them up but yeah look you have like the full spectrum of colors and you can do like even different variations I love this it has a dimming feature which would be really nice for that light oh my god I love it okay let me see turn the living room lamp off okay make the living room lamp blue okay I mean it's a little creepy I have to say I used to be someone that was like very much anti all of these things like I I still don't have Siri turned on on my phone but I refuse to turn that on I refuse to get one of those Amazon things for the longest time I didn't want like a, a robot vacuum like none of the voice control stuff I just thought it was all like way too invasive and creepy and I still feel that way but I feel like you know what everything we do is being tracked nowadays anyway so why not have the cool things in your home that just make life more enjoyable and make things more convenient you know like life's too short it, this is a whole different topic but anyway I'm excited about that light bulb I'm gonna get another one for that other lamp I'm gonna put everything away and go make dinner i think i'm gonna do chicken and broccoli with protein pasta and that vodka sauce i got that sounds so good that sun is intense right now we're gonna just move over here. I love how sunny it is though. I feel like we've had a lot of gloomy days lately. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I just made myself a cappuccino. By the way, I think I showed you the coffee bar in the last vlog, but here is what it looks like. So my apartment came with this built-in desk area and I knew I wasn't gonna wanna actually use it as a desk and put my computer here because it's small, It's in the kitchen facing the wall instead i thought it would be a really great idea to turn this into a coffee bar because i love coffee i have all of my different types of machines so this way i can have them all out on display so they're easy to access and i can have all my different 
coffees and everything. I love the way this turned out. The two shelves are from Amazon. They actually came in a set of four. That frother is from Amazon. So is that milk frother jug. That espresso maker is from World Market. Fake plant is from Ikea. These airtight mason jars are from Amazon. They came with the labels. So I have regular coffee, decaf coffee, and my espresso. That jar is from Ikea. That has my Nespresso pods in it. Then my cappuccino maker, my regular coffee maker, and my Nespresso machine. And then I have Benny stuff tucked away under there, which is nice. That I found at Home Goods. That's from Amazon with all his food in it. It's very convenient because it has wheels. So I can just roll it in and out. I feel like I have my own coffee shop at home. And it's like, okay, well, what do I feel like having this morning? Do I want a cappuccino? Do I want an espresso? Latte? Regular coffee? But today I am going to be working at the salon and it's going to be a little bit of an annoying day just because normally I try to schedule all my clients back to back. That way I don't have like big awkward gaps throughout my day. I don't work at a salon where we ever get walk-ins. So if I have a gap in my day, it's like I'm just sitting there not making money. And I'm also not the type of stylist that will work like 12 hour days. I just, I physically, mentally can't do it. I don't know how other people do it. I commend them. Like it's, some people are built for it, some people are not. I will work eight hours max. If it's like big color appointments especially, those will usually take me around three hours on average per person, depending on you know how much hair they have, what they're doing, etc. So that's like about three people in a day if I'm doing like full color appointments on each person. But I'm trying to like figure out my new schedule now that I've been like kind of gradually opening up my availability and taking clients a little bit more long story long I have a client this morning at 10 then I'm gonna have like at least a two hour gap then I'm doing my friend's hair and then immediately after her I have another client that's coming at like five o'clock 5.30 and she's a full head of highlights and a cut. So I'm probably not gonna get done with her till at least like eight o'clock, 8.30. Even still, that's not even a 12 hour day, but still I'm like, oh, I'm dreading it's gonna be a long day. Cause that's just like, it's not what I'm used to. Normally if I like go in and I have my first client at 10, by six at the latest, I'm out of there already. Like I'm, I'm done, I'm cleaned up, I'm heading home. What is nice though is now I live super close to the salon so I can get home in like 10 minutes so I think during that break I'm just gonna come home that way I can take Benny out and I can edit and get some stuff done during that gap eat lunch you know <laughs> it'll be good it just sucks like once you come home from work you don't want to have to go back you know I woke up a little extra early today so I could kind of have a slow morning and take my time. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will see you later. Okay, here is my outfit for today. I have these pants from H&M. It's day one of my period today, so I'm feeling bloated, I'm feeling crampy a little bit, not great, but these pants, are nice because they are like dress pants, but they're super comfortable and stretchy. And they're actually a little bit big on me, so it's not super flattering for my butt, but whatever. They're more forgiving. And then I just have a plain tank top underneath. And then this sweatshirt, also from H&M. And I'm going to tuck this under the tank top. That way it gives it a little bit of shape and it's still like loose and comfy but it doesn't look like super slouchy and bummy. I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on and my hair is a few days old and it's a little greasy so I'm gonna put a little bit of dry shampoo and probably just pull it back in a clip. A little bit of Shape Tape Concealer, Ilia Skin Tint, Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. 
Thrive Mascara. And a little bit of Maybelline Express Brow Gel. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And lastly, this is a Pixi Gloss in the shade Sheer Rose. I'm gonna add some earrings to kind of dress up my fit a little bit. And perfume, of course. Ambry Saffron, as always. Okay, I am all ready. I'm gonna go do my first client, then come back, get some work done here, go back to the salon, and I'm doing my friend Haley's hair, and a third client. I will check in throughout the day. Wish me luck. the next day <sighs> sorry I didn't vlog anything last night I just completely got in the zone and I was like oh my next clients here gotta hurry up and then my last client I was like it got late and I just wanted to finish so I could just clean and go home and I was so mad at myself too because I was recording like a day in my life come do hair with me for an Instagram reel and I just didn't even get any after pictures at all of my last two clients and I'm like and especially the last one, she was new and she was amazing. We hit it off so well, dream client, and it just makes me so happy. Her hair just came out so good. And I wish that I got pictures of it because she doesn't like toner. So I didn't do any toner at all, no root smudge, nothing. It was the most flawless, beautiful head of hair. Add that to the list of like top best hair I feel like I've ever done. But next time I do her hair, I need to remember to get pictures and videos and stuff. And then by the time I got home, it was nine o'clock or a little bit after nine. So it was a late long work day and I just heated up dinner really quick and then immediately got ready for bed. I was so exhausted. And then this morning I went on a nice long walk. I took Benny to the park and we walked for over an hour and it was so good. The weather is so nice today. It's a little bit chilly, but it's really sunny and it just felt good. I left my phone home because I was like, I was getting stressed out. And I was like, I just, I don't want to deal with this. Phone is staying home. I'm going to be unplugged, just be out in nature, enjoy. And it was so relaxing and I felt amazing. I was like on such a high. And then I get back and... I have all these salon text messages that, I don't know, I don't want to get into it, time and place, you know, but it just, I don't know it's just like been an overwhelming and kind of stressful time and I just feel like I'm juggling a lot right now this is not me trying to complain and trying to like rebuild my clientele just like behind the scenes stuff with that that's just been like stressing me out and just like kind of toxic energy at times which I don't want to like get into all of that. I don't know, it just feels like a lot sometimes and I think for the most part I do a really good job of balancing it all and I really love my life and like where I'm at right now with things and I feel like so grateful and good and it's like always, it's good stuff but every so often it just gets like 
suffocating that's like oh my god this is just it's just a lot and i just I'm like i just need to breathe like i just like everyone just leave me alone please anyway so it's just like <laughs> i was like on the brink of a breakdown earlier this morning and then i was like let me go outside and just reset that'll make me feel better and it helped so much but then I, it's like i came back and looked at my phone and it was just like <laughs> Anyway, today I am going to be home. I have videos I need to film. I have stuff I need to edit. I need to record the podcast. So I'm going to go do my hair and then I, I'm going to film and get ready with me. But I just wanted to check in and like vent a tiny bit because I was like, I just feel tears coming and I can't start crying after I do my makeup. So I needed to just get that out first. So I will check in with you later. Oh, I'm so excited. It is now almost 5.30. I wasn't hungry when I woke up this morning and I just like immediately got started with my day. I've just been like, go, go, go. And I realized I didn't eat anything yet. And I was sitting here editing and I was just getting really hungry and starting to get a headache. And I don't have anything that's like quick that I could just kind of heat up. So I was like, I'm just gonna order myself sushi. So I was really craving that. So I got tuna avocado, spicy tuna with avocado, and spicy salmon with avocado. Mm, I love sushi so much. I filmed two YouTube videos, an Instagram reel, which I already posted, and I have been editing a YouTube video, which I'm almost done with that. So I'm just taking a little lunch break and then we should be recording the podcast pretty soon so after i'm done eating i'm gonna get this video finished record the podcast and then i will be done with my work for the day just wanted to check in and i'm feeling a lot better now i talked to my boyfriend on the phone and was able to like vent a little bit to him and that helped significantly and just you know distracting myself with work i'm gonna feel even better after i eat good morning it's the next day yesterday ended up being a really good productive day i got a lot of work done but today i am heading over to my old apartment i'm gonna pack up some more stuff because in exactly two weeks from today i have to turn in my keys so i need obviously everything out of there i need to clean the apartment and i know that sounds like a still a good amount of time but with work and it's my friend's birthday next week and we have friends coming from out of town, so I got a lot going on the next week or so. So realistically, I kind of only have like maybe five days, four or five days to get everything done. So it's a little overwhelming. I still have my big furniture, which my friends that are coming next week from out of town, I'm getting a U-Haul and they are gonna help me move that stuff. So next week I'll finally get my couch and my bed over here and my patio furniture. I'm just gonna go over there, spend a few hours and get it ready so that way when I get there with the U-Haul with my friends, it'll be easy. Like everything will already be packed up in boxes and we just have to carry stuff out and that's it. I'm past the exciting part. The exciting part was like getting my stuff here and getting settled and situated into this place. But now I'm like, oh, this is just like the last part that I just want to finally get it over with. I'll see you at the old apartment. Okay, we're at the old place. Yeah, it's still kind of a mess in here. Honestly though, I think it just looks worse than it really is because of all the boxes that are just scattered all over, but need to straighten up all of this. The kitchen is mostly empty. In here, there's kind of some stuff thrown around. And there's like a little bit of stuff lingering in the closet still, but it's pretty much empty for the most part. That's completely empty. I am gonna bring this dresser. Originally I was like, oh, I'll just leave it here and I'll post it on Facebook Marketplace, see if someone will buy it. I never got around to doing that. So I'm gonna just put it in the guest bedroom in the meantime, then figure out what I'm gonna do with it. This closet, there's not much left in it. The bathroom is basically, I mean, it's pretty much empty. I just have some cleaning stuff in here. It's not as bad, I guess, as I had it built up in my mind. Like, there's not that much stuff left here. There's just 
shit everywhere so it makes it look like a lot but my goal today is to just get everything packed into boxes pile the boxes up and just have it be clear and decluttered in here so that when my friends come like i said we can just grab everything load up the truck and go and then i'm gonna wait obviously until it's completely empty in here before i clean because i think it'll just make it so much faster and easier to clean it when it's completely empty i'm gonna start with cleaning out the stuff in the fridge because i did leave some dishwasher detergent here yeah it's like really gross i'm kind of embarrassed to even show this but i have leftovers in these containers that have been in here for weeks because originally when i got the keys to the new apartment i was planning on still living here until like at least the middle of the month but then i ended up staying there so i had leftovers in the fridge that i forgot about and i wasn't living here so i need to throw that out and I'm gonna put all the containers in the dishwasher so that can run while I am packing stuff up. Oh, and also the balcony, I haven't touched it at all. Everything is still out there. All the furniture and everything in this closet out here. So that's the status, that's how it's looking in here. Let me throw on a podcast and then get to work. Okay, I'm starting to feel a lot better. And I got a lot done pretty quickly. There's less here than I felt there was. And I think if I load up my car to full capacity today, we should be able to just fit everything else that's left in the U-Haul. So I'm only gonna need, hopefully, to make one final trip and then everything will be out of here. So here's how it's looking. This like extra little packing stuff I'm just keeping aside this Christmas stuff. I'm gonna keep that over there because I have the rest of my Christmas stuff in the closet out on the balcony. So once we start pulling everything out of there, which maybe I'll do that before I leave today. I don't know, we'll see. I'll kind of like put everything all in one bin because this is just overflowing like a mess. And then these coats, I'm just gonna grab those and throw them in the car and maybe grab these pillows too. I took the artwork down and yeah, I just have a whole bunch of stuff packed up and I just put it all in this area. And then that stuff is garbage. So everything over here is stuff that I'm gonna pack. The bedroom is pretty empty now. I was trying to pull this rug out from under the bed, but it's just too heavy with the mattress on it, so I'm gonna just wait on that. So I guess now I'm just going to throw out that garbage I have and just start loading up this stuff in the car. Here is everything. We'll see how much I can fit in the car. Okay, this is what we got left. My car is officially filled to capacity. So it's really just this stuff here, those two bins. I'm gonna take this stuff down with me now and then like that and what's out on the balcony and then obviously like the big furniture, but not too bad. I have to say I am very grateful that I'm not moving in the middle of summer because it is, I don't know, it feels like it's maybe like in the mid 60s at the absolute hottest right now. And I am sweating my ass off. Granted, I'm in long sleeves and sweatpants because it felt cold when I left, but now going up and down those stairs, I'm sweating. Yay. Woo! It's a few days later. It's currently Saturday evening. I just got home, I had a package, that light bulb arrived, so yeah.
Oh, so nice. It'll be so vibey in here. Let me turn this light off. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. So cozy. Anyway, I meant to end the vlog a few days ago, but then I figured that bulb was coming. So it's like, eh, let me include that. So that's going to be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description for my link and that code for Timu. And I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.